the the standard is still there. They're still a minor, and then they're still a minor until the, uh, until they're 18. But um, at the end of the day, gross negligence, I think, will be easily met with her husband's trial that's coming up because he owned the gun. Um, and hey, listen, you buy a gun, you're responsible. If your child takes the gun, even if they don't have mental health issues, you have no responsibility to have a gun in your home. You, ha you have no right to have a gun in your home and not secure it when you have children. If you live by yourself and someone breaks into your house and steals your gun, that's different. But when you have a, a minor, even if they don't have mental health issues, they're still a minor. In the, in the, in the eyes of the law, their prefrontal cortex will continue to get developed till they're 25 years old. When they're between the ages of 13 and 17, they're just a wild mess of a person. So to have a gun unsecured, clearly nobody can dispute that this man had a gun and it was unsecured and his son took it. There's no disputing that. Well, then you're responsible. You were grossly negligent. Uh, the mother, not so much, right? Um, so I would have had the uh oh feeling from the minute I saw the media coverage on the case to answer your question, Ted. Uh, having this question get asked shows me that there that the that the jury is really thinking about the elements and juries think about the elements when they're leaning in to a conviction. So yes, I would have been my you know, my heart would have dropped when I heard that question. It's not the end of the the, the game for her. I mean, they might still not reach a unanimous verdict on manslaughter, but um, it's not good. Yeah, to have that question be reiterated by the jury, it's not great. Hey, you see, you saw that hallway shot. The uh, prosecution team was walking down the hallway. Now they're walking into the courtroom. She